on questions 1 to 13, which are based on reading passages from below. Henry moved 1898 until 1986. The British sculptor Henry Moore was a leading figure in the 20th century art world. Henry Moore was born in Castleford, a small town near Leeds in the north of England. He was the seventh child of Raymond Moore and his wife Mary Baker. He studied at Kilsaport Grammar School from 1909 to 1915, where his early interest in art was encouraged by his teacher Alice Dostek. After leaving school, Moore hoped to become a sculptor, but instead he complied with his father's wish that he train as a school teacher. He had to abandon his training in 1917 when he was sent to France to fight in the First World War. After the war, Moore enrolled at the Leeds School of Art, where he studied for two years. In his first year, he spent most of his time drawing, although he wanted to study sculpture. No teacher was appointed until his second year. At the end of that year, he passed the sculpture examination and was awarded a scholarship in Royal College of Art in London. In September 1921, he moved to London and began three years of advanced study in sculpture. Alongside the instruction he received at the Royal College, Moore visited many of the London museums, particularly the British Museum, which had a wide-ranging collection of ancient sculpture. During these visits, he discovered the power and the beauty of science of ancient power and beauty of ancient Egyptians and African culture sculpture as he became increasingly interested in these primitive forms of art he turned away from European sculptural traditions. After graduating Moore spent the first six months in 1925, traveling in France, when he visited the uh, Trocadero Museum in Paris, he was impressed by a cast of a man, sculpture of the rain spirit. It was a male reclining figure with its knees uh, drawn up together and its head at a right angle to its body, Moore became fascinated with this stone sculpture which he thought had a power and originality and no other stone, stone sculpture possessed. He himself started carving a variety of subjects in stone including depictions of declining women uh, mother and child groups and masks. Moore's exceptional talent soon gained recognition and in 1926 he started work as a sculpture instructor at the Royal College. In 1933 he became a member of a group of young artists called Unit One. The aim of the group was to convince the English public of the merits of the emerging international movement in modern art and architecture. Around this time, Moore moved away from the human figure to experiment with abstract shapes 
1931, he held an exhibition at the Leicester Galleries in London. His work was enthusiastically welcomed by fellow sculptors, but the reviews in the press were extremely negative and turned to move into a notorious figure. There were calls um, for his resignation from the Royal College and the volunteer when his con contract uh, expired. He left to start the sculpture department at the Chelsea School of Art in London. Throughout the 1930s, a move did not show any inclination to please the British public. He became interested in the paintings of the Spanish artist Pablo Picasso, whose work inspired him to distort the human body in a radical way. At times, he seemed to abandon the human figure altogether. The pages of his uh, sketchbooks from this period show his ideas for abstract sculptures that bore little resemblance to the human form. In 1940, uh, during the Second World War, Moore stopped teaching at the Chelsea School and moved into a farmhouse about 20 miles north of London. A uh, shortage of materials uh, forced him to focus on trying. He did numerous, numerous, numerous uh, small sketches of Londoners, uh, later turning these ideas into large colored drawings in his studio. In 1942, he returned to Castleford to make a series of sketches of the miners who worked there. In 1944, Harlow, a uh, town near London, offered to move a commission for a sculpture depicting a family. The resulting work signifies a dramatic change in Moore's style away from the experimentation of the 1930s towards a more natural and humanistic subject matter. He did um, dozens of studies in clay for the sculpture and these were cast in bronze and issued in editions of seven to nine copies each. In this way, Moore's book became available to collectors all over the world. The boost to his income enabled him to, make on, to take on ambitious projects and start working on the scale he felt his sculpture demanded. Uh, critics who had begun to think that Moore had become less revolutionary were proven wrong by the appearance in 1950 of the first of Moore's series of standing figures in bronze um, with uh, their harsh and angular biased forms and uh, district, distinct impressions of menace Moore also varied his subject matter in the 1950s with such works as Warrior of Weight Shield and Falling Warrior. These were rare examples of Moore's use of the male figure and owe something to his visit to Greece in 1951 when he had the opportunity to uh, study ancient works of art. In his final year, Samuel created the Henry Moore Foundation to promote uh, art appreciation and uh, to display his work. Moore was the first modern English sculptor to achieve international critical 
uh, a claim uh, and uh, he is uh, still regarded as one of the most important sculptors of the 20th century. Questions 1 to 7. Do the following statements agree with the information given, given in reading passage 1? In boxes 1 to 7, on your answer sheet, write 2. If the statement agrees with the information, pause. If the statement contradicts the information, not given if there is no information on this. On leaving school, Moore did what his father wanted him to do, too. Moore began studying sculpture in his first term at the Leeds School of Art, Pulse. When Moore started at the Royal College of Art, its reputation for teaching sculpture was excellent. Note given. Moore became aware of ancient sculpture as a result of visiting London museums too. The Trocadero Museum's uh, Mayan sculpture attracted a lot of public interest. Note given. Moore's thought of Mayan sculpture was similar in certain respects to other stone sculptures. False. The artists who belonged to Unit 1 wanted to make modern art and architecture more popular. True. Question 8 to 13. Complete the notes below. Choose one word only from the passage for each answer. Write your answers in boxes 8 to 13 on your answer sheet. Moore's career as an artist, 1930s. Moore's exhibition at the Leicester Galleries is criticized by the press. Moore is urged to offer his resignation and leave the Royal College. 1940s, Moore turns to drawing because materials for sculpturing are not readily available. While visiting the hometown, Moore does some drawings of miners. Moore is employed to produce a sculpture of a mood mood is um, uh, employed and to produce a sculpture of a family Collectors start to buy Moore's work. Moore's increased income makes it possible for him to do more ambitious sculptures. 1950s, Moore's series of bronze figures marks a, a further change in his style. 